FYP queen in the house. Uh, guys, you might be wondering, why is she so excited today, guys? I'm going to see you before you tonight. I've been waiting a whole year for this, guys. And I can't wait because I ain't seen them for five years. It's my first concert for five years and I'm so excited. Will uh, Miss Red get to uh, give Ali Campbell a kiss on the cheek today? Uh, I might go in there and say I'm a TikToker, famous. A hundred million views, which I do have. <laughs> Thank you, Crizzle, and everybody else for the love, KJ. Uh, Danny Boy, do you think it'll get me a pass backstage? I'm a TikToker. Get me in there. Uh, who's UB40? UB40, Joey? <laughs> Alexa, play red, red wine. Thank you, Jacqueline and Amy. Come on, guys, tap the screen. Red wine. Thank you, Donna. Guys, can we do this in a record, right, guys? Because you know a bitch loves popular number one. Can we break the record and try and get this popular number one within half an hour? We can do this. You can do this. There's no me. It's only down to you. All it takes to get me on that popular platform, blah, 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 is a heart me, a tap, a comment, a wristband. If you don't want to do that, then just tap the screen. Uh, thank you everybody we're nearly halfway there to the targets on the likes too so tomorrow guys Luke will be doing the Miss Red show at 10 o'clock in the morning thank you Donna and Domino so everybody head over to Luke at 10 o'clock in the morning and he'll be filling in for me so go over there cause loads of trouble and uh, just give him a hard time because we're all about it uh, so, yeah, because tomorrow I'll probably have hangover, not going to lie. He's a cloud chaser. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have hangover tomorrow because tonight I'm going to get drunk. Yes. Thank you, Sammy and So. So, if anyone is in Nottingham tonight, and they are at the UB40, <laughs> if you do see me, and I'm drunk, uh, uh, come say hello. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie and Life Relay. Really. Thank you, everybody. You're all so kind to me. Uh, I do the I do deserve the love to be fair because uh, I'm the queen of the FYP. <laughs> no other reason. Thank you, Amy and Anne. Thank you, everybody. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, you'll have to wait, guys. Yes, you'll have to buckle up buttercups because we've got loads to talk about today. I did have loads to talk about yesterday. Thank you, Anne and Chloe and Becca. But uh, the show, you know, took a, a direction into, you know, the whole uh, Gracie and... What's his name? The gifter? Already clear. Yeah, it went into that. Susie is my fave cloud child support, Luke comes second. Oh, big up Claire. Uh, so guys, yesterday, one of the mods blocked already clear. Um, yeah, one of the mods blocked him. So basically, um, they was replying to a comment or something or clicked on his profile and it was actually a mod that blocked. Uh, so they did get a telling off. And uh, I have messaged already clear, but I don't think he's read it yet. So that's where he went yesterday. Spirit Girl has won the £50 cash, guys. Uh, so everybody, big up Spirit Girl. Spirit Girl, I haven't forgot you, darling. I will send it over at the minute I get off TikTok Live. T um, Spirit Girl, guys, was our £50 cash winner. Yes, she was. Uh, so, guys, uh, everybody send some love to Spirit Girl. If you do want to be uh, in with the subscriptions, uh, it's £2.69 a month. Yes, well done. Uh, you get to use exclusive of emojis, uh, priority over boxes, if we're not having an argument. Um, also, you get put into a draw for a £50 cash prize. I've still got to um, do the tickets for the party, which I have got the numbers, I just haven't counted them yet, because I've got like 500 and some to count. And every time I go down the list to count, I lose count. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's the ADHD. Honest to God, I have to start over again about three or four times. Do you know what I mean? Thank you, Jay Ray. Welcome to Team Reds. Uh, yes, guys. So where are we on the popular now? I'm such a beg for this popular, but I don't care. I'll own it. Uh, we are number 11, guys. We've got to do better than this. Number 11 is terrible. I ain't going to lie. 10 minutes in, number 11. <laughs> thank you, Jay. Thank you, Amy Lee. Uh, thank you, Happy Jay. So, guys, we've got 3.6k people. Uh, if you could send a heart me, please, that would be amazing. 
if you could all send me a heart me thank you rosie thank you darling someone just commented on the necklace again so um someone got me this for my birthday it's from shirosky did i say it right shirosky nah, thank you everybody uh it was 199 quid yeah I only wear it on special occasions, but because we're going out today, I'm going to wear it today. Oh, hello. Just come to the boiler. You come to the boiler? Okay. Are you hiding one's face? Yes. Simon's hiding, guys. Look at him. <laughs> Simon, you've been all over TikTok when we did the smooch on the TikTok live. You're not about it? No, not about it. He's not about it. Guys, right, enjoy your soak. <laughs> is laughing thank you guys for the subscriptions i know he's already been seen all over tiktok so why is he hiding himself in his cute pink t-shirt i love a man in pink make the girls weep you know what i mean <laughs> evil queen does have this necklace I was inspired by her beautiful necklace, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I love a man in pink. I think it's a gorgeous colour. He is very handsome, he is. He's triple 20 and he's a very handsome man. And do you know what made me laugh, right? Hi, Tanya, darling. Hi, Autistic Jazz Bag. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for the response. Uh, what made me laugh was when, like, obviously, we're seeing all over the Tiki Toki place, right? People are like, I won't expect... Oh, thank you, Lee, for the little doggy. Thank you, darling. Big up, Lee. You, they weren't expecting Simon to look how he was because, obviously, he's six foot tall. Thank you, Mum. Mum, thank you, darling. He's six foot tall and he's, you know, he's quite hench. He's our Simon. Uh, they was expecting some Weasley geezer. Yeah, some Ron Weasley looking guy. Do you know what I mean? Get out of here. Not Simon's hot, man. Thank you guys for the love, Dawn and... Oh, thank you, Adam, darling. Right, where are we on this popular? And we're 50k away from the light. We're number eight. We're climbing up there slowly. But oh, already clear at number one. Oh my god, we're not going to do that today at all. He has got 346k points on that popular. We've got Zach the Brat at number two, uh, Taxi Uncle at number three, and Zach the Brat at number four. So, guys, if we could take number two or three, that would be amazing. Let's go for that. Right, we're nearly up to the uh, 300k likes. How is everybody today, anyway? Yes, Sister Mary. Is everybody good? Thank you, Miss T and Miss Jan. Oh, big love, Gavin. Thank you for the subscription. Oh, we sent some sub, 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 sub subscriptions out. Are you okay, Claire? Thank you, my darling, for the subscription. Already clear is unblocked. You're shattered. Oh, it's only Tuesday. We've got, we've got the rest of the week to go. And you're shattered already. Hi, Sammy, darling. I was okay until I... Uh, I've woken up to see her like, oh my god, did you fall asleep with your phone? Then it takes you into another life. Ah, oh, sending love, Briny. I'm sending love for your, um, your child's operation. Sending lots of love to you. Thank you, Eden, and everybody else. All right, guys, we're nearly there. We've nearly hit. We've hit the 300k. Are you ready for the FYP news? Yes. Uh, so guys, literally as soon as I come off the live today, I will only be on until half 11. Thank you, Marie and Lisa. I will be on until half 11 and then I'm gonna run out the door, jump in the car, and then we're off to Nottingham. So it is only a short show today. Luke will be on tomorrow. Yes, Alex, you tell him. Luke will be on tomorrow at 10 o'clock and I'll be back. I'll be back. Thursday morning with the FYP show. Is that all right? So I'm just going to have one day off and then I'll be back. CLA's in court. Lock her up and throw away the key is what I say. Yes. Right, guys, here we go. Alexa, play the BBC news theme. Thank you, Janine. <laughs> Conservative MPs uh, Alexa, oh, thank you, Dippy Egg and Popo. Thank you for your first gift. Big love, Janine. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. Oh, thank you, Dan. Dan, love you. Thank you for baby. Mwah. Big love, Dan. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. BBC News theme. Here we go. TV theme tune yes. on Amazon Music. 
Good morning and welcome to the original FYP show of a morning, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, guys, buckle up buttercups because we will be bringing you the FYP today. We will also be opening the boxes to hear your thoughts on the FYP page and whatever I've got to say. Guys, it is a little bit of fun. If you can't handle the fun, the heat, get out of Miss Red's kitchen. <laughs> I did see the jump scare, thank you very much for reminding me. Oh. oh, thank you guys, thank you for the love. We do also have a little celebration target here, guys. Thank you, uh, Brigitte and Jill, big love. So if, if we could smash this as well, that'd be amazing. Right, where are we? Let's get on with the FYP news. I've got loads to talk about today. Yes? Oh, thank you everybody. Oh guys, I can't cope. I can't cope my iPads. Look. It's not loading it up. <laughs> it's not loading the videos up, guys. Why isn't it loading it up? What's going on? My Wi-Fi is fine. Nothing ever works for me. Oh! Right, guys, so we're going to start off with the funny stuff this morning and then get into the nitty gritty, all right? So we're going to start off with uh, Joey. This is Tiki Mation. Uh, we love Joey around these ways. He's a legend. The lights are on, isn't they? Why is it so dark? Let me turn this other light on. Oh, yeah, because that made a load of difference. Guys, here we go with Joey Tiki. The Shining guys, Tiki Mation presents The Shining. It was so funny, Spell Slayer. Oh my god, look at Lou, and you got Joey there. Thank you, Jade. Thank you, Jade and Donna. Oh, that made me jump. Oh, no. Oh. It's mouth bar. Dead wings. Later that day. Look at We're her. here to clean your room. Can we come in? Hey, Paul. Do you think she's got Luke in there with her? <laughs> oh, it's the evil queen. <laughs> oh Oh Justice for me guys Oh. 
what Zach up to. Oh, lovely, Joey. Justice for me, guys. Miss Red, Dead Wings, Zach Dibberat, Chelsea Arwood, Jerry Tickey, Pearl, of course. Oh, the smell bar. Oh, guys, how brilliant was that! Guys, did you love that? So that is on Tiki Mation, guys. If you want to head over to uh, Tiki Mation, you can follow uh, Joey on that. His videos are amazing and so creative. But why is Alphabar always getting me, Joey? Joey, I've noticed that Alphabar's always getting me. Have you noticed? He's so clever. He's so clever, guys. Also, as well, on the video here at the bottom, because obviously jo Joey doesn't go live, and when, with many uh, content creators that do things like this, that don't go live, at the bottom here, it's got a little gift thing, so you can gift like 10 coins, 15 coins, and this is how creators like Joey, you know, get a little bit back from TikTok. Um, so, yes, I just wanted to point that out, guys, just for those that didn't know. Where are we gonna go next? Oh, looks, we've got Rebecca Buckley. She loves you, that's why. Joey, don't even try it with me. That one does not love me. She's out to get me. Right, let me turn off this little light. Oh, G DJ, I've got a video to show with you as well. It was hilarious. Let me just show Rebecca Butler's. Do it, Joey, mate. Hello, you've been invited to this TikTok party, but I haven't. No, you can come with me. I wouldn't want to, not with them fucking... No, I'm... <laughs> Do you know it's Joey, mate. Hello, you've been invited to this TikTok party, but I haven't. No, you can come with me. I wouldn't want to, not with that fucking... Oh, Rebecca, you're amazing. I love that. Nobody does M's better than Rebecca. We love we love Rebecca around these ways. So here, this is called How Many Feet Have You Got? Yeah, she's lovely, isn't she? How Many Feet Have You Got? DG laughs himself off the chair. Did any of you see this? I had to watch this a few times this morning. Thank you, fair enough. And everybody else that's gifting. I watched it repeatedly over and over again. Have you seen it, guys? This is hilarious. So let me play this video. Uh, DG never fails to make me smile. We love him. Whoever's with you there, hold the camera for you. Watch the feet at the bottom. How many feet have you got? Oh, that's your hand. You can hold it with your hand, mate. You don't have to hold it in your feet. Yeah, yeah. I thought we had <laughs> oh, 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 DG, you're missing the best bit. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Tears in my eyes. Let me just watch him fall off the chair again. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Last time, sorry. <laughs> oh, I got tears in my eye. It's one of the videos. <laughs> every time I know it's there. Ah! When he falls, every time you watch it, it just gets funnier and funnier. <laughs> but it was the, the feet. There was uh, <laughs> there was three like you know three feet. And Jay-Z was like, 
but and it's brought him out. I love that. That absolutely tickled me. Whose page was that? Oh, that's on Princess Clips. Um, oh, I love it. Hilarious. <laughs> right, what we got next? We'll just get the... <laughs> right. I apologise about this. Thank you, Sammy, and everybody else that's sending love. Thank you so much. I apologise about this because... Thank you, Pauline and Ghost. When I was doing, like, a little clapback at CLA yesterday, which I do do, I do a little clapback, um, I called her the Predator, you know, from the movie. And I think it started the whole movement over TikTok. Oh, Sister Mary, that potato is so cute. Thank you so much for the potato. So anyway, everyone's calling her the Predator now. And I've seen, like, troll accounts doing Predator videos. Oh, look at that little potato. Thank you, Sister Mary and Tammy. Um, so here we go, guys. So... I will apologise to CLA for that. Oh, God. It was like the cheese thing. Remember the cheese gifts? I started the trend with that. I started sending them to Alf Bar. And everyone was getting gifted cheeses, if you remember. It was... What did we have? Cheese disciples, it was. Uh, right, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, isn't it uncanny? I told ya, I can spot a resemblance from a mile off. What they never tried with me when you look like the predator, do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, oh, it was grand granddad gobshite that did that, so we must have been watching yesterday. You can't unsee it, can you? Thank you guys for the love. Right, where are we on this most? Oh, we're popular number four. Thank you guys. So we are... Oh, we're 43k away from number one, guys. So keep the heart miss coming, please. Oh, I love that. I love that I've started a whole movement with the uh, <laughs> with the predator thing. Thank you, Jade, darling. I'm starting trends here, guys. And we're all about it. All right, where are we going? Where are we going now? Oh, should we go onto the juicy stuff? Let's go onto the juicy stuff. Uh, oh, okay. So, on Delusive Angie's live yesterday, there is, um, there is a cretin on the app who is actually a, a predator. So, mods, can we pin a uh, trigger warning, please? Thank you, everybody. Let's, let's pin a trigger warning, please. I know I've got a few mods out today and doing different things. Uh, so, we may have uh, a few mods out of the room that would usually be on it like that. Uh, yeah, no content coach. Her name is Lucy Haunt, Haunty. Haunt, I can't pronounce the name. So anyway, she was on uh, Delusive Angie's live last night, so I'm just going to play. Thank you, um, Smiling Blue Butterfly. I'm just going to play this video, and then we'll go into that. Anymore, okay? Um, I can see people commenting and saying disgusting things about me, and th that's I'm already finding that quite difficult. But I would like to just let you know I've actually had this for ten years. So, oh bless her. So, guys, a morning pearl for the for people that don't know this lady that we're speaking about um, had uh, how can I say this trigger warning, please? She had. Uh, What's the word? How can I say it without getting a ban? She... She she had relations with a 15-year-old boy. And this is fact. This is proven. She went to court over it. Um, so, yes, she is a um, sexual predator. And I'm sure she's on the uh, sex offenders register. It was her friend's son, so trigger warning. And this is the truth, guys. It's all over. Um, it's all over social media. It's all in the press and everything else. So it's not a case of you know waiting for proof this is real guys this woman engaged in activities with a 15 year old boy but on this she's saying ah oh, thank you pearl my darling pearl where are you taking me i'm coming to greece with you pearl yes 
so this 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 is who we're talking about this is real all right uh fact freak and everybody else does awareness about her because for some reason we know that tiktok is a very strange place and people like this get enabled um and she's got viewers in a room she's got subscribers she gets gifts bearing in mind that we know all of us know that this woman is genuinely a sexual predator her name is uh, No Contact Coach. She's on TikTok. Uh, so let's let's finish what she's saying. Uh, when people use the word awareness, it, it triggers me actually because that would indicate that this is new and I've never experienced this. And I actually I've had it for ten years. Oh, uh, what she had. what a shame! What a shame for this poor woman. Oh, guys. She's so triggered by people speaking the truth on what she is. Imagine, you've got crimes against children, right? You've gone to court for it, but yet you're triggered because people are doing awareness lives on you, right? And you know I don't like this Angie one. I'm not keen on Angie. But, you know, and people are saying, you know, platforming a wrong gun and da-da-da-da-da. But I'm glad that woman went in that room because if you're going to get torn apart in a box... That is a box that you're going to get torn apart on in and dragged up. So I'm glad that that woman went into that live. Do you know what I mean? Because there ain't no uh, sympathy or understanding shit that they're fucking dragging you and pulling you up on it. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, what a shame. This woman is so, she's so affected. Oh, bless her. Bless her. It's not fun. People aren't using facts anymore. The facts are, the facts are, love, right? The facts are, you engaged in activities with an underage child, whether it be 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you don't get a pass as each word goes, as each year goes by. If you've done the crime, right? Oh, she's in here, good. If you've done the crime, darling, if that is the crime that you have committed, whether it be five years, 10 years, 20 years, you're wearing that label for life. You are wearing that label for life. And I hope that people remind you every day of the week what you did. Because if it was my child, darling. <laughs> Never, I, I'm, I'm very self-aware. I'm very authentic. And I will absolutely answer any questions anybody has. Who, where they speak to me like I'm a human because I am a human being. You're okay? a wrong gun, darling. But I'm not. You're a wrong gun, and people like you that have crimes against children uh, don't deserve to be walking the earth, as far as I'm concerned, as a, a survivor of something like that. I'm not going to engage or respond with things where it's no longer factual and it's slanderous and it's defamatory, okay? So. No contact coach, it's not slanderous, it's facts. If you have done something that has been proven in a court of law and has actually come out of your mouth, is facts. That is not slanderous. There's no slander there, darling, you did that. How on earth you have the audacity, which I get it, you're a narcissist and you're a predator, to sit on this app and act like a victim. The only victim is that lad. That lad is the only victim, not you, darling, not you. And as you see, I've turned the comments off, um, and everyone else knows. Okay. And you know, speak. can I? Can, I mean, no, I don't know whether you want to do this, but share your share what happened, or do you not want to go there? I, there's things that obviously I cut that like I'm in a really sticky situation where I'm desperate to give you every detail of every minute of every hour of all of my misdemeanors because that's the sort of person I am. I overshare. I overconfess. Uh, but I can't because there are there are two gagging orders on me at the moment. One for five years and one for ten. Um, which, are the, which obviously make it slightly difficult. But again, I've managed to to to, to have dignity and and to maintain my truth and my honesty. Um, for many years now, because the, the thing I think most people are most excited about, shall we say, happened eight years ago. Um, 
and I think what happens is that people forget about time like they think they're Marty McFly and they read it or they it anyway she then goes on to say um, she then goes on to say that she was in a really bad place she was suffering from this that everything else right Fuck you. Mental health is no excuse or being in a bad place is no excuse for being a predator. All right? That is no excuse. Can't excuse it. You cannot excuse that. No excuse in the world. Whether you lost your mind for a week, a minute, an hour, it's no excuse. You did it. And I hope that for as long as you're alive, you're reminded of it because you ain't no victim here, darling. You ain't no victim. Right. I'm going to carry on with the next thing. But I, I hope you're listening. I hope you're listening because we're going to open the boxes in 20 minutes. And we're going to talk about you. And we're going to talk about the wrong ones. Thank you, Lucy and Jenny. And we're going to talk about the wrong ones that enable you. That sit in your life. Condoning what you did. Whether it be five years ago, ten years ago ago 50 years ago you still did it no forgiveness no forgiveness for things like that no forgiveness right anyway where are we going next uh So, I want to talk about, right, I don't know if you've seen it all over the FYP. Thank you guys for all the love. Um, whether you've seen it all, all over the FYP. An eight-year-old autistic boy from Leeds gets beaten by Lexi Bonner while friends laughed and filmed. Trigger warning, guys, trigger warning. Well, I have actually, yeah, it's all over the FYP, isn't it? It's all over social media, yeah. So, basically, um, I think this Lexi was 14 years old, so she used to the child uh, and she uh, you know how kids play out and she's seen this gorgeous young boy and you know she uh, actually she, she attacked him do you know what I mean and what I wanted to speak about is obviously because this 14 year old girl is a child and she did it to another child what should be the punishments for this right I'm not going to play it guys please don't I'm, I would never ever play anything like that it's just because I've been tagged in so much on it and when you're tagging me in stuff I want to talk about it I don't want to be avoiding it because it's a difficult situation um uh, now, this is what I think. At 14 years old, you've got a little bit up there, you? you know, kind of like the crack, and you know that that child, you're hurting, you're hurting that child. I believe exactly that. This is what I believe. I believe that they should go in a young offender, offenders institute because doing that at such a, you know, being 14, doing that, it, there's something psychologically wrong because it was evil, what I've seen. I really believe this. I, I mean, do I think the girl's evil? No. Obviously, she's got something going on. Um, but I just think that I know that it was horrendous when I watched it. But I do believe that even though she's 14, she should go to a young uh, offenders institute or anything like or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I don't believe that she should just be uh, taken into the police station and just say what he did was terrible, you know, given community service. I believe that repercussions should be um, taken is that what they call it ball stop haven't seen it I couldn't boot camp no I believe that they need locking up to be honest with you to deter them from doing it again we've seen it many times on social media where children are getting attacked by other children do you know what I mean and uh, like when people in comments are saying oh she's only young she's only young she's a child herself no that was evil, what she did. Do I think she's evil? No. I think she did an horrendous thing. But it was sick what she did. And they need consequences. 100% consequences need to happen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was horrendous to watch. Again, if it was my child, Jesus. But it is so hard because, you know, she's still a child herself, isn't she? So there you go, guys. We have talked about it. Um we're not avoiding situations we will talk about what you're tagging me in uh, yeah horrendous what a terrible time what a terrible time to be in do you know what i mean how all this stuff still continues right right guys we're going on to cla 
So CLA is what about smoke? Smokes was covered on Luke's yesterday, guys. Uh, the smokes thing was oh thank you for the love guys the smokes thing was covered on loops yesterday and usually 99% of the people that are in here are in loops all right because we've, we've covered the content coach thing so I don't want to you know go over too much stuff that's triggering so loops loop did it yesterday there was quite a few thousand people in there all right so uh, yeah so i've brought up this no contact coach today uh, we've got to be careful that we're not doing too many things that are triggering people um so this smokes right guys all right for those of you who don't watch i do apologize so this smokes um he <clears throat> he's admitted to engaging with uh, a child that was 14 years old and he's admitted to it but his excuse is that um she looked she didn't look 14 um and in luke's live yesterday um there was somebody in the box saying that this girl was going to come live and talk about it and we was all like well no let don't go live you know it's best if the girl don't go live because you know she's still a child you know you've got to be over the age of 18 really and it's such a triggering subject and i think it goes bigger than views and and us getting you know to know information being nosy do you know what i mean so that girl coming in the box and telling her story i don't think was a good idea uh but yeah so this smokes one had engaged with a 14 year old girl apparently she was um, selling him something or something like that but he has admitted to it and he said that he didn't know how old she was but apparently this girl looks really young uh so that's the smoke situation like i say it was covered yesterday luke's how many preds on here there's so many predators on here it's a breeding ground for predators sexual predators I mean, you only have to look at the likes of that Holly Stanley, uh, Jade Palmer. You know, that Holly Stanley's been done for crimes against children. Um, Jade Palmer, who is a trans woman, uh, you know, male to female, had left a woman almost unalived in a field. Do you know what I mean? And they've still got supporters. They've still got supporters on TikTok. Yeah, then there's that Tara one. There's so many wrong guns on this app, guys. And you, you get people that are still supporting, and I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, right, guys. So we are 4K away from popular number three, everybody. So if we could, we've got 5.5K people. If you could send a heart me or tap the screen, leave a comment, please. It will push us because we're nearly there on that most popular. Uh, someone's buzz tech. Well, I don't think buzz tech's wrong. Good. You know, I'm not his biggest fan. The buzz tech so is not wrong. Good, is he? Uh, do you know what I mean? So I don't agree with that one. Thank you, Connie. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the response. You know, we've got to be really careful about what we're calling people because uh, predator is the, is the worst word to uh, call somebody. But with these people, there is facts. Like the, the woman that I spoke about, the no um, content coach, and this smoke, smokes is admitted to it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and also, as well, uh, you know there's other things going around on tiktok but i've not seen any proof for that yet and if i did see proof we're talking about it 100 percent. if you know you know do you get what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about but there's no proof so at the minute it's speculation we, we can only go on facts on tiktok because it's a serious accusation to throw around it damages it damages lives you know it's something that men don't forget you know if they're accused of it and they're innocent do you get what i'm saying uh, did you talk about Nora? Who the fuck's Nora? Who's Nora, guys? Oh, her. Her. Let's talk about this Nora one. Sorry, it takes a couple of minutes to sink in. I've got things going 100 miles an hour. Yes, this Nora one. Right. Let's talk about this Nora one. So, King Louie. Let me turn my light on, guys. So, King Louie. We all know. Thank you, Denise and Amanda. Thank you so much. Uh, he's very poorly. He's a gorgeous lad and he's currently on the heart transplant list waiting for a heart. He was uh, Saturday, if you notice on my page and all over TikTok, there was blue hearts all over TikTok for, for King Louie. Uh, and Miss Red said CLA, the movie Predator, not that she's a predator. The movie Predator, guys. It's a movie. Not that she's a predator, the movie Predator loves. Please don't 
twist what I'm saying to try and pin some it on me. All right? So thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, so uh, TikTok got lit up with blue hearts um, on Saturday because they thought he had a ma that there was a match for his heart, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't get how anyone could be spiteful or cruel to anybody that's to anybody, let alone somebody that every day could be the last, you know what I mean? And the grief that this lad is getting, I love that he's on TikTok and he's got support and people are gifting him. Why not? If it's anyone deserves it, it's somebody like Louis, you know? Um, and if people are going for him, you're sick. You're sick and you deserve every backlash that you get. You really do. So let's play the video. Quite a lot of telling me they want to send me a grand and old and send me this and that and send me the bank details because you knew fuck all about me i told every single one of them not to i literally explicitly told them multiple times don't send me anything don't want anything if you want to support me just watch the live just send a like that's what i've said to five different people that offered to send me multiple thousands of fucking pounds go on the way they're slapping me off saying that i'm trying to get sympathy shit you don't know fuck all oh, right sit in right. solitary consignment oh, all day every day can, can i speak to you really way yeah can no, i no, speak no, to don't you speak to me Piss off. no no because there's only way. you there's only you on this app at the minute isn't there well, let me reply to you shall i mean you lying little shit Lying? Yeah, you are. You're lying, little shit. My son is it. I'm not going into it. Oh, yeah, don't go into it. It's my. It's my. Oh, here okay. we go again. Yeah, don't, don't, I don't care. I don't want to know. Yeah, I don't want to know. Please I'm too busy in my own situation to take other people's stuff. Yeah, don't tell me. Don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, until you go on palliative care and make it off and get the most aggressive form of blood cancer and have a mismatched fucking donor. Oh, here we go. I feel sorry this. for yeah. fucking no, no, no. Oh, Didn't ask wow. anyone to wow. talk to me at all. That ain't what I did. You, you were slagging me off, so I got tagged in this to come and have a look. But I, you, you won't let me reply to me. You were saying, would there? No, don't want to reply to me. Piss off, piss off, you lying little shit. Don't talk about me. Don't, don't mention my I'm name. Lying. I'm again. not lying. Yes, you are. You're lying you little piece of shit. In a bit, in a bit, In a bit, yeah. Piss off. Respond, Nora. Come on. Right. Right. Speak, please. You're awful, terrible human being, Nora. Please let her respond. Yeah, well said, Angie. Yeah. I don't care what you think. care what you think. We don't care about your son, Nora. You're twisted. You're absolutely you don't care about right now, my son. But you, no, care, you, but you care about this bag on TikTok. But no, you don't no, care about my son. Kid. Nora, nobody cares about your kid. There you go, Nora. Nobody cares um, what happens to him. Nobody cares if you walk 400 miles. Nobody cares because you don't care about anyone. So why should anyone care? Why are you sitting here making your story more pitiful because you have to compete with someone who's literally passing away? And I don't know what your son has, nor do I care. But you cannot sit here and make yourself more relevant than someone else who's actually dying, Nora. Well this said, Angie Love. Scary. And you know, the sad thing is, right, guys, this Nora sounds like a, you know, a, an older lady, so she's lived a bit. But how anybody on this TikTok can sleep at night and come for such a sick person. You know, Louis is, you know, he's loved by everybody. And with his with his heart, you know, it's very weak. And the fact that these people have the right to call him a bag and call him whatever else they're saying, it could have such an impact on his on his heart. It, it, it's so true, Wayne. Um, she let on, she was 37. She sounded older than 37. Yeah, we stand with Louis. It's disgusting. It's The stress could have done anything to him uh yeah this Nora I don't know who she is but she needs to fucking she needs to do something Nora Nata Nora Nata's trolls horrible trolls thank you Gracie darling uh so guys with it being uh, a short show he doesn't need the stress it's terrible with it being uh such a short show today um I'm gonna open the boxes to give you 40 minutes to come in and talk about what you want to talk about whether it be the no content coach uh and whatever else that we've spoke about this morning remember guys Luke is on tomorrow morning at, um 10 o'clock for me and I will be back on I'll be back on Thursday morning and we're going to stay until round about one o'clock. So we're going to do round about 10 till one o'clock. Uh, okay. 
I don't need must be. I need a day off, love. I need to go and dance the night away. Right, so what I'm going to do is just going to add everybody to the boxes. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get around to speaking to everybody, but I'll try my best today, guys. Bear with me, everybody. I'm just, uh, I'm just loading the boxes up. How many mods have we got in today? I have seen a few of you guys. Because I've noticed that I haven't got mods coming in uh, every day. I do understand. Thank you, Sarah, darling. I do understand that some of the mods work, but I need you in here <laughs> one or two days a week because otherwise I'll have to... Yeah, see, I know you're birdie. We've got Ollie B. I need... Because I've got people modded and they're coming in like once a week. Do you know what I mean? And I need... And I know some of you work and I appreciate that, but I need mods every day just to keep the room safe, you know. Uh, thank you uh, for the mods that I are in here and do your best to protect the room and help me thank you so much right we'll start with nanny tam hi nanny tam morning miss red thank Honestly, you Beth. i'm so shocked about everything yesterday i mean the old people the sarah and say like these people say this these people and then you've got people like her who's done that to a young lad she's wrecked his life completely yeah it's so heartbreaking to sit and listen. And that Nora, honestly, I've never, you got people gifting that Deandro and, and CLA and all of them, and you're calling a lad that is really, really poorly, who's coming on TikTok because he's stuck in a hospital, not knowing if it's his last day. And you got people like her, honestly, I've, I'm lost for words. To, uh, I watch this TikTok and I'm lost for words all the time. Why is it there can't be C CBS checked? I went to the hospital and I weren't allowed to be there until I was. So why on this app is it any different? I agree. I agree, darling. Yeah. And do you know what, Nanny, you've hit up on a really, really valuable thing there. Uh, <clears throat> because it is an app where money is exchanged, so I would consider that as, if you are gifting, it is a little gamble on your creator, isn't it? A hundred percent. So maybe, I mean, DBS uh, is would probably be impossible but we need 100 percent identification and then i don't know TikTok could put something into place where you know if you're going live or something like that and you're collecting gifts measures are TikTok are in so much money off you good creators and why is it they can't employ people to be on top of this constantly yeah. when people are in there saying that I mean, it seems to be every other day, Miss Red. Yeah, a new one pops up every day, darling. A new wrong one pops up every day. And, and honestly, I sit back and I think, what on earth? What is going to come next? Yeah. It's disgusting. And I'm there's just... only people like you, mm. Pearl, that all, and Luke, that all stick together and turn around and say, we will never give these, these people a platform. You always give a platform for people to be able to come in, to have a voice, and I love you for that. But you you always say the wrong ones are the wrong ones, and that's it. They would never get in your box. Yeah, and I'll stand by that, Nanny. I'll stand by that, not even... Honestly, you're amazing. You, you guys, I mean, as you know, I came in a long, long while ago, and I was calling EQ because I was watching CLA, but I've never... I've, I had my... I must have had fucking blinkers on, sorry for swearing, but I must have had blinkers on because I do not know what that woman, she is an awful, awful woman. And she only likes the big gifters when they come in. Any other time, she should be took off the app now. Who's that darling? CLA, she should be took off the app now. I do, do you know what with CLA, right? Where King Louis is concerned, I'll give CLA that she has been very kind to King Louis. Where only where King Louis is concerned, but CLA has no respect for anybody. He really uh, doesn't. And I and I to look at you and Pearl and Luke and EQ and the rest of you, you all bring something amazing. Yeah. All she's bringing every day, she's calling people a team that's trying to support her. She puts them down 24 seven. 
Yeah. She thinks it, she's this. I mean, I don't want to talk, it to be about it. I'm just saying the wrong ones on the app should be took off. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I do think something needs to be put into place now, especially like that uh, that coach woman, the predator. Uh, she 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 shouldn't be on TikTok because she's actually. She, I think she's on the sex offenders register, from what I believe. How are sex offenders getting on TikTok? I don't understand it. It's meant to be a children's app. It shouldn't happen. Nanny, darling. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to go. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Red. Enjoy no, 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 your time no. away. You t thank you, darling. Thank you for coming in the box, Nanny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Goodbye. You. So, guys, I've got no more time for boxes just for today, guys. So, what I'm going to do, thank you, Nanny. I'm going to put the timer on so everybody's got an equal chance to speak and we can get through, hopefully, people quicker. Uh, so, we'll do show time. Uh, we'll do three minutes starting from now. <clears throat> All right, let's do show time. Hi, country girl. Country girl, do you want to unmute? Oh, hi, Miss Red, you all right? I'm good, thank you. Um, what I wanted to say was, one, if I had all the money in the world, I'd buy Louis everything off his gift wish just to piss Nora off. Yeah. Because what kind of person does that to somebody who's seriously ill and says the things that she, do, she did to him? And oh. it's stunk of jealousy. Yeah. Number two, I know I'll probably get some hate because there's some of her followers in this in this room, but why is angie giving a predator a box she shouldn't be given anything no prop no no people should go into her room no people should be following her she should be cut off because at the end of the day she did what she did if that was a if that was a man who'd done that to a girl to a young 14 15 year old girl would she be so happy to give her a box then can i just say something right you know me and angie don't like each other i don't like angie and stuff like that right but the fact that she got into that box she was pulled up and grilled and i liked what lynn said to her even though i'm not a fan of lynn's and because she went into angie's box angie's a big creator on tiktok it's all over the fyp uh, would i have her in my box absolutely not but i'm glad that she got put in there and it's got screen recorded and she's all over the fyp again do you know what i mean yeah, I think like she, it, I knew who she was because yeah. she's come up on my FYP. But for the same breath, if it was a man I, and I had as big a platform as Angie did, I wouldn't give a man, I wouldn't give it to a man because to me, if a woman's done it, if a man's done it, a woman's just as bad. Yeah, I, I, I do understand where you're coming from, but for me, uh, like I say, personally, no one like that would get in my box, but I'm glad that she got in that box because I can assume that she got torn a new one and it's more exposure and more people have seen it this morning, you know, because I've seen some comments on the videos where people are, oh, I didn't even know who this woman was. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's all I wanted to say anyway. I'll let somebody else come up and say something because you're short of time. Ah, oh, thank you, country girl, darling. Okay, Miss Red, have a good night tonight. Ah, oh, thank you, love. Bye, darling. Bye. I can't see you. Hi, Jade. Hi, Miss Red, are you all right? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I was basically going to say the same thing as country girl. Yeah. And I understand what you're saying, like giving her the exposure out there, but you got to think of it the other way as well. I watched her following go up while she was in Angie's box and there were people gifting her. The people that are gifting her is just as bad as she is. Her following went up. Her following were going up. I kept switching to her profile and her following were going up while she was in that live. So I get that it's good for exposure, but the, then there is the wrong ones that are going to go and follow her as well. And mm -hmm. she was getting gifted. Do you know what it is? It's a double-edged edged, edged sword, isn't it? Because uh, you can't... It's really hard because I believe that people like this should be exposed and if they're going into bigger creators platforms, they're going to get that exposure. As well, if it was a smaller creators platform with 30 people in there, it's less likely to make the FYP. But I do get where you're coming from because now it's taken people to follow that content coach. It's just such a hard one. Yeah, mm -hmm. and as for that Nora as well, she would bang out of order. She turned and said, I think it was her son were born at 30 weeks, but he's 13 now. That's nothing like someone that's dying. My son were born at 26 and a half week. He's not dying. Yeah. So uh, people just need to get a brain on this app. 
Yeah, I agree, darling. I really agree. Thank you so much, my darling, for coming in the box. Thank you. Have a nice night tonight. Will do. Bye, Jade. Right. Hi, Dawn. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. I'm good, thank you. What you got to tell us, Dawn? Um, my, um, my son died at 21 years old, and he had, a, he had what uh, Louis had, and my heart goes out to Louis and all his family yeah, and friends. Awesome. Um, he had heart failure, and on that, on top of that, he had a disease called Danon's disease that affects all your muscles in your body and leaves you blind. And he couldn't even walk from one room to another room without out of breath. Oh. And that Nora needs absolutely coming off this app. She's absolutely disgusting. Can't stand her. And CLA is absolutely awful. She was on this morning saying, get me up to a thousand likes or I'm off. I'm effing off. All you lot are effing this and effing that. But honestly, going off that subject, Louis, I'm, honestly, my heart's breaking for him because I know exactly what he's going through because I was there told me someone literally passed away on his bed. Aww. Sorry, I'm going. Sorry. Oh, go on. Sorry. It's okay, darling. It's okay. He had a pacemaker and a defibrillator. And when he passed away, he had two shocks and jumped like jumped up on bed. And they said there's nothing they can do because his heart's that bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dawn. It's all right. No, that, that, that never I'll... leaves me because all I can see now is him. I can still see it and it's seven years ago, but all I can see is his body jumping off bed every day, every night. So, so, so that yesterday, the way that Nora yeah. spoke, we were really triggered. That... Yeah, I was really, really, really triggered. Yeah. People just need to do better on here, Dawn. People yeah, need to. Yeah, Thank you for all the gifts. I'm, I don't need any gifts, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Miss Red, for bringing me on. Sorry about me crying. You cry away, my darling. You cry away. When uh, when I come off, I'll just send you a little message, Dawn. Thank you. Oh, we love you lots, Dawn. Bye, I love you. Bye, love. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, can you get me off? I'll give Dawn a message when I come off. Dawn's lovely. This is what I'm saying. These nasty people, they're triggering people left, right, and fucking centre. <sighs> Hi, darling. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Ah. Sarah, darling. Hello. Hello, there you are. Is that better? Yeah, that's better, love. Hello, sorry, I had my headphones in and it doesn't have a microphone. <laughs> um, I was just saying, is there something in the water with TikTok? Because it's like everyone's going bananas. I Everyone think it's because it was like a new, uh, there was a moon or summer. Thank you guys for the love and subscriptions. There was a new moon. Was it called, Re I don't know what it was called, but it sent everybody Delulu. Yeah, it's and last night King Louis helmed himself so well, and he should be so proud of himself. That Nora, she was actually sat there laughing her head off afterwards because she was saying, "I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying it." Um, and it actually, I think it turned out she did. She doesn't have a son. Really? Yeah. Yeah, she was just trolling and um, trying to get sympathy and. Um, she was just in there trolling and just being an absolute. Yeah, yeah. yeah she literally came in. And she was like, "Oh, I'm, oh, I'm enjoying doing this. I'm not going anywhere." And like everyone was just getting frustrated. Like I was on there till half two listening to it, and it's just she was just rude. And King Louis, bless him, you know, he's going through so much. And but he come in and he held himself, and he had so much love in there from everyone absolutely everyone but yeah that was just my little um do you know that, i couldn't believe it sarah when i seen it on the fyp this morning um i, I couldn't believe that somebody had spoken to him that way I no. 
It's disgusting. She wouldn't expect an old, an older lady to speak to a, a, a young person like that. It's just disrespectful and it's disgusting. And she needs to give her head a wobble. To be honest with you, so that's how I say it. No, it's not even the age. It's it's the fact that he's 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 very poorly. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Any added stress or anything like that. Yeah, I'm serious. You know, oh god, this app—it's—it's it's just getting worse. Thank you, Sarah, for joining. Yeah. Thank you for letting me um, join, and um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye, love. Bye. Right, who's next? Hi, Jojo. Hello, Miss Red. You're all right. I'm good, thank you. Um, that thing with Nora and King Louis is absolutely disgusting. Um, she should be ashamed of herself. I mean, she's obviously got problems and no empathy whatsoever. He's so brave and he's, you know, he's, he's having a hard time. And to be honest with you, if I had all the money, I would get him his wish list without getting back at Nora. I would do it to make him happy a little bit, you know? What's he got on his wish list? I don't know. I haven't had a look at it yet, but um, oh. it's just so sad. You know, it, 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 this app is poison and it, it's just so sad the way people get away with saying the things they say, whether they've got exposure or not. They just, they can get away with it because they've got a voice on the microphone and, you know, have that same energy to someone's face in the street. You'd never, ever do it, you know, and it, there's just no empathy and it's just, it's, it's very scary for our young ones to grow up thinking, oh, yeah, we'll go on TikTok when we're old enough and, you know, and they don't know what they've got ahead of them, you know, so... Mm. It, it makes me feel sick that people are actually voicing their opinions like that. Just just even to get a little argument, you know, anything. Do you know yeah. what, darling, Roy? I can't actually believe in 2024 we've got creators on here, uh, big, some big creators as well, that have actively got troll accounts in their chat yeah. and engaging in their chat. Yeah. Troll accounts that are going out and saying and doing the worst to people. That, that, that they're in people. I can't believe it. I, know. I, know. I just want to say as well, sorry for cutting you off because I haven't got long on here, but um, I'm so sorry, Dawn. I, I'm shaking when she came on because i'm it's affecting you know and it's I, I, my heart goes out to her I, I wish i could just cuddle her and and cradle her because i could feel it i can sense it i can hear it in her voice the heartbreak um yeah it's it's very sad it's it's you know we love our children and we try and do our best to do what we can for them and we would take their pain for them um but it, it, it's really it's really sad um I'm going to wrap it up now because I'm getting upset. But um, I'm just letting you know, I went and saw UB40 last Thursday uh, at when, uh, the O2. Yeah. And they were amazing. And the first time I went there was 30 years ago and I was pregnant with my firstborn in 93. Yeah. And he took me last week. So it was like a bit of a nostalgia and, and it was really lovely. Uh, it was like a Mother's Day present from, from the kids. And it was Aww. just... It was really lovely. I was getting all emotional and, and he was looking at me like, oh, mum, get up, dance, come on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, UB40 are really good. Bitty McLean sponsor, like, uh, supported them and that. And, um, and it was really good. But every, everyone have a lovely day and just stop hating on everybody. Just enjoy your yeah. life, man. We don't know how long yeah. we've got. Thank you, know? you, Jojo, darling. Thank you so much. I, I can't read that name. Hi, hi Mad Mom, Kayleigh. Hi, can you hear Hi. me? Sorry, I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous, love. You're in a you're in a safe environment, and we've got some lovely people in here. So I just wanted to point out uh, about no contact coach. Oh, yes, um, Mr. TikTok and his girlfriend are actually extremely close with her. There's a podcast of his girlfriend um saying how she isn't a beast and that no one knows the full story so defending her really yeah so and the other thing i want to say uh because i saw a lot of um in people in the comments saying about the stuff about the girl and the boy with autism okay so there's a lot of false information going around um I know of both families. Uh, it happened in Shropshire, not Leeds. Okay. Um, 
the boy is okay thankfully i saw a lot of people saying about broken bones luckily he is okay um with he's got some cuts and bruises i don't want to go too much into there's false information about their ages and everything but yeah he is okay okay but yeah that's that's all i wanted to say thank you my darling thank you for coming on and i know you was nervous but you did amazing this morning thank you thank you for sparing us your time bye darling you might have to kick me off <laughs> <laughs> by love she did really well considering she was nervous because i can imagine for people coming in the boxes with so many people it's a bit you know hi darling hi hi oh i've got so much to say and so little time first of all uh, thank you to joey tiki i spoke to you on friday miss red and you said i could be unblocked uh, joey tiki yesterday bless him sifted through the masses and unblocked me so i could watch you on this account so thank you joey Oh, justice for Maria, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, two things I wanted to talk about. I'm, I know I ain't got much time. Um, first of all, in regards to King Louis and Nora, I didn't watch it, but I, I have seen clips of it, and I was absolutely disgusted. This is a young boy who has been fighting every day of his life, just for another day. Yeah. And let us not forget that on Saturday, amongst two weeks of pure toxicity on, on this app, and you, you know yourself, it was, it's been really bad the last few weeks. Yeah. On Saturday, the entire app just changed, and for just one day, everybody in every live were praying for Louis. Oh, it was he did that by himself. To hear a, a fully grown woman it, behave like that, I was disgusted. So my my love my love is sent to Louis. Bless him. Also, really quickly, I haven't seen the video of the autistic child um, and what happened, and I don't want to see it. Um, but I had something a little bit similar happen last year. Oh, I'm a mum to. Um, sorry, I'm shaking. Um, I'm a mum to three children who have learning disabilities and my daughter is eight years old. She has autism. Um, last year at school, um, I got a phone call to collect her because four boys had hurt her at, at break time and one of the boys had hit her around the head with a chunk of wood. Wow. Um, luckily, she was fine. She just had a bump on her head. Um, but the school wouldn't name the children. Um, so when I got home, I did the typical thing. I had a little rant on social media. Mm -hmm. And five minutes later, I had two mums at my door with the children. The mums were brilliant. They had brought the children to face what they'd done. I called my daughter downstairs so the boys could apologise. And because she only sees the good in everything, she wouldn't let them apologise. She just asked if they wanted to play. Yeah. Um, it, the lady that come on before who said, you know, he's not injured, that that will affect him for the rest of his life. Yeah, and let's yeah, not forget yeah. that autistic children are already facing a battle every day. Yeah. It absolutely terrifies me that things like this are happening to our children, whether they've got a learning disability or not. It really upset me. Um, so yeah, I just if that if that had happened in my scenario when the girls in the kids were fourteen, I would have personally been wanting legal justice. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've got to go. My three minutes is up. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for joining. Justice for Maria, Jerry unblocked her. Thank you, darling. Hi, Holly. Hi. Hi, darling. Um, I come on about um, Lucy, uh, the no contact coach. Oh, nice. I don't know if anyone picked up on it. I didn't watch the live, but she said to Angie, her exact words were, I'd love to give you every single detail of every second, every minute and what happened so you know what you can all get excited about. What kind of monster? Like, I, I was shocked. I, I, I didn't see anybody else in the comments pick up on it. Is that what she said? Yeah. So I, she, like, she's, being, she's being smug and about what she's done. Yeah, and she did a live before, it was a few months ago now, I think, where she dragged the boy. She blamed him. I she remember. mocked him. She was viral. Parents, and the parents as well, Holly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, her new user is um, Thriving Through Hate. Thriving Through Hate. I don't, honestly, I don't know where this woman gets her audacity from. I really don't. Well, there you go. I'll let somebody else go because I know you've got to go.
Okay, thank you, Holly, darling. Thank you for joining. Bye. Bye. Who's next? Oh, thank you guys for the love. Thank you so much. Who's next? Sorry, I can't see the name. Hi, Jam. Hi, Michelle. I hope you're okay. Hey. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Jam. Good. Um, Dawn, if you're watching still, darling, I hope you're okay. Um you really actually really got to me oh, i've never been through it but i could just hear through her voice it was it's not something that you like to listen to is it it's it's heartbreaking um so i hope you're okay dawn if you're still watching um i just want to touch upon uh the no contact coach okay. um in my opinion i believe that the cps and the uh, and the police need to do something in regarding to safeguarding yeah because it's not actually against the law for any form of sex offender to set up any form of social media account unless it is within their bowel conditions really it is yes okay so yeah it's it's and i think something needs to be done about that because if you think about it even if just like i'm not condoning absolutely anything but obviously you've got the the higher end cases let's not go into it obviously within bowel conditions they're not allowed any form of social media because of contact with children but the the minor cases um the only reason why i know this is because i'm doing my third third year of um, my law degree well done and we had i had to do a case where it was it was minor um what they deem as not an extreme case of how can i put it um without getting banned but yeah it wasn't an extreme case regard it involving children yeah and they were allowed on social media i don't get it Neither do I. Neither do I. There is nothing stopping them from setting up an account. It's sick. It's weird. If if you've got them crimes against you because children are more likely to be on social media, yep. it should be an automatic ban for life. I'm sorry. 100% and I completely yeah. agree with you. That's with you. Your scale slayers just said an automatic ban for life straight away done. And it should be that way. It should be that way because at the end of the day, what's stopping them from contacting a child? Yeah, absolutely. See, this is the thing, isn't it? The, the, the government ain't protecting our children enough. They ain't protecting our... You know what it is? It's because the reason they don't protect them enough, sorry, Joe, I'm taking over your time, is because some of them are corrupt and when their day comes, when they get called out for it, it's so they do uh, lesser sentences. That's what it is. Exactly, exactly. Um, but, yeah, I'd, I'm going to love and leave you because, um, obviously, my time's up. Um, I'll just see a comment just quickly. There is a petition online, um, and I think at the moment it's sitting at 250,000 signatures. Yeah. And yet they're still, the CPS is still not listening. So I'm doing a little bit of clout chasing. If everyone wants to go and have a research, I can't remember the name of it. But, yeah. Go and have a, sign, have a little sign up. The more people that sign up, the more they're going to possibly listen. So, Okay. Thank you, Jem. Thank you for joining us. much. Thank you. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. Hi, Jojo. Jojo, do you want to warm you? Oh. I've spoke, babe. <laughs> oh, Jojo, you've already spoken. You're sorry. Hi, Katie. Uh, hi, Miss Radge, are you okay? Hello, darling. Oh, so, yeah, I just, I need to jump up and have my say on this. Um, first of all, if Lou is watching, I just want to say, like, how sorry I am that you had to go through that yesterday. Sorry, I always get dead nervous when I'm jumping up to talk. <laughs> um, but the reason why I've jumped up today is because we've, well, Darren's experienced this firsthand, the same as Louis yesterday. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, it seems to be people who are going through similar situations who can be so cruel. I mean, probably 50, 60% of the trolls, and we have experience, sorry, I do have evidence on this, who have been trolling us, have been people who have been in the same situation or are going through the same heartbreak and trauma as obviously what we're going through as a family. Now, 
I actually found out who somebody who was massively telling us on a fake account. Um, I actually found out who they were like in real life and I spoke to them off the app. And it turns out that they're getting kind of a similar situation to us and they've just been in the newspaper because they're not getting the support. And I just I just feel like it, it's crazy. It's like I know the fight is so hard at the minute for people to get support for what they're going through for the children or whoever. And but you think that these people would have more empathy. You think that these have more feelings towards other people who would experience the same thing. Mm-hmm. And all I want to say is to people who are going through it, don't like, don't give up the fight on getting the support. Try and turn that anger and that jealousy into the fight for your child or whoever needs it, because it's making people very be very cruel and angry in life. And I get it because we we've been so angry in the past, and people who've watched our lives have seen how angry we've been with not getting the support for Isla. But you have to fight for it. But don't. Like, I don't see how people can be cruel to other people who are actually getting the support, who have fought for it, because it's not an easy process. Mm-hmm. But what happened to Louis yesterday from, and I don't know, you know, I've only seen it in the comments now. Um, I, I didn't actually see the live. I just seen what you've just shown, Miss Red. I don't yeah. know whether she does have a son or she didn't have a son, but I'm just talking from personal experience that, it, you know, it, it does seem to be people who are angry who are going through the same situation and it's just cruel like you just think that they just have more empathy and just to troll like that what happened to louis yesterday only from watching the clip that you've just shown them miss red absolutely breaks my heart like Mm -hmm. he is fighting every single day so what that he's jumped up and got himself you know a support network like he deserves the world um, so, and he held himself so, so much, he just held himself so well yesterday and I'm glad that he told us to piss off as well because like how dare she, how dare she when people are, you know, wanting to give him support, awesome. like he's so absolutely cruel. It's, do you know what it is, Katie? It's all, everything, it's all down to jealousy. You know, that woman, that person that was trolling you when their child's going through the same thing because they're not getting as much support as you. You know, they're, they're, they're being vindictive and they're jealous, but they're in the same situation. So surely they should understand the pressure of trolling you when your daughter's going through something, you know, horrendous. It, it, it's, I, I don't understand. And I'm not sticking to that Sorry to interrupt you there, Miss Red. And I'm not sticking up for the person when I say, obviously, like the stress and the anger of what what you're going through. But don't take it out on other people who are getting the support. And I don't mean support on the app. I mean support, obviously, off the different services and yeah. you know that that support with carers and things like that. Like, don't take it out on people who are actually getting support. Like, put that anger into going to get you getting your own support and fight yourself. But there's absolutely no need to be just outright vile to people who are getting the support that they actually deserve it just it shocks me that they've got absolutely no empathy it really does uh, it, it, it's just the fact that you know these it, it's just a human race i don't get it my mind boggles kate no, and and- then can speak to louis the way that she spoke to him and that that uh poochie khan the other day that poochie khan did the same as well you know the boy is fighting every day and any kind of stress with his heart could seriously do something and okay honestly exactly I'm and do you know what i hope he gets all the support in the absolute world because i've jumped in and watched his lives and he's fighting every day and he's so positive and he's such a lovely lad and i honestly honestly just wish that he absolutely smashes it in everything that he does now thank you kate darling thank you miss reds thank you for oh, all the love you've given me kate bye oh you might start to kick me out because you know what to do <laughs> thank you kate bye, bye darling guys uh, thank you everybody who joined the boxes today uh, i'm really sorry that we didn't have a chance to get everybody in like i say i am literally leaving the house in six minutes i'm throwing my shoes on and we're out the door uh, guys uh, we will be back on thursday thank you guys for your heart miss luke the judge is live tomorrow so he will be doing the miss red show big love my joey he'll be doing the miss red show at 10 o'clock in the morning and then i'll be back uh, i'll be back thursday big love joey thank you uh, so we got five minutes let me just thank everybody for sending your gifts and the heart miss thank you to jade thank you jade my darling pearl only crizzle mum mum is Sorry, Mumsy, Lauren, sorry darling, Lady in Black, Owls, 
KLT, Denise, Jackie, thank you, darling, Jay, Donna, Steve, Sonia, Danielle, Shan, Pauline, Forney, Anne, Tasha, Joey, and Helen, and everybody that sent a heart me, tapped the screen, even left a little comment, honest to God, it means so much. And we made popular number three in an hour and a half. Um, I'm so sorry the live is so short today, but to be honest, I wasn't supposed to come on. But I said, Simon, I can't let my people down. So, Simon, you'll have to wait for me. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I love you too, Jackie. Thank you so much. Right, guys, with that being said, at some point, thank you, Kate. I will be live tonight, so you'll have to wait for the uh, notification. I will be live from the UB40 concert. Hopefully I get to, uh, you know, see Ali Campbell uh, a little bit closer to the stage. We get to go backstage. Like I say, I'm going to use my TikTok privilege and just say I'm TikTok famous, millions and billions of views, don't you know? And uh, yes, <laughs> I'm joking, guys. But thank you, everybody, for joining today. And I'll see you tonight when I go live. I love you all and have a lovely day. Thank you, Mons. Thank you for looking after the room. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>